Hi, my name is Tim, and in this short video, I'm going to guide you through all the proper steps to diagnosing a faulty thermostat on a residential air conditioner. Now, as with any service call, we need to begin by ensuring that the thermostat is calling for cooling. So we're going to click on this little button here and turn the selector switch to cool. This will also reduce the temperature setting of the thermostat below the room temperature. Next, we're going to need to click OK on the procedure guide up top, and we're going to need to do this after each and every step. Next, we want to take an inventory of which electrical loads are operational. And we can see here that the indoor fan or indoor blower motor is not operating. Now, if it was running, you could hear the sound of it if you have speakers, but also these blue arrows would be spinning. So we're going to go back to the procedure glide and click no. Next, we go to the outdoor unit and we can see again, neither the compressor nor the condenser fan motor are operating. So again, let's go back to the procedure guide and click no. So none of our electrical loads are operational here. So we're gonna remove the cover from the indoor unit. And before we take any electrical readings, we're gonna take out the wiring diagram. Now we wanna look at the indoor unit wiring diagram. So click on this bottom left tab here, and we'll see the diagram here. What we want to do here is narrow our focus to, you know, what are our possible causes of this malfunction? In other words, what malfunctions would turn off all of the loads? Well, there's not too many of them. We've got the main power, of course, which would shut everything down. We also have the transformer, which if it was faulty, we wouldn't have any 24 volts to operate either of the relays. The indoor fan relay, which controls the indoor blower, and the contactor coil here, which controls both the condenser fan and compressor outside. So it's got to be something common to those two relays. And again, we said the main power was one. The transformer is the second one. And our third possibility is the thermostat right here. If the thermostat's faulty, again, it will not provide 24 volts to either one of these relay coils and will result in all loads being inoperative. Now let's do some troubleshooting. Click OK in the procedure guide and now you have the meter out and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to verify line voltage coming in and we can do that right at the primary of the transformer. We're going to measure for 240 volts on this transformer by dropping the leads on the glowing orange hot spots. And we do have 240 here, so that verifies we have power coming to the indoor unit. Again, go to the procedure guide and click yes. Our next step is to measure for 24 volts at the secondary side of the transformer. So again, drop your leads on the two glowing hot spots at the secondary of the transformer. And there we go, we have 24 volts. So this verifies that both the main power and the transformer are okay here. Now, before I proceed, I want to show you something. If we take the wiring diagram back out, we can see that the location of our leads in the actual circuit are shown on the wiring diagram here at the transformer secondary. And this is a really convenient way to learn and provide a connection between the wiring diagram and the actual circuitry within the unit. So I would review this uh, here and there as you go through each problem. So I'm going to store the wiring diagram. So what's next, our thermostat? Now, again, we need to click yes on the procedure guide. We're gonna remove the cover from the thermostat by clicking on it. And we're just gonna take a look and make sure we don't have a broken wire or a, a loose connection potentially. And it doesn't appear that we have any of that here. So it's really gotta be our thermostat at this point. Now, prior to replacing the thermostat, uh, what you can do in an actual service call is place a jumper from R to Y and from R to G. Uh, this will basically bypass the thermostat. And what's going to happen here, if the thermostat's faulty, uh, this bypass will cause all loads to come on and operate, just verifying the thermostat's bad. And we've kind of done this through a process of elimination here. So we're going to click OK. Now, do we see any loose wires? No, we didn't see any loose wires. And before replacing the thermostat, I just want to show you here at the top left that that procedure guide that we followed at the top can also be launched here along the left so that you can review any of the previous steps you took, just in case you're not clear on one or more of those. So next, we're going to click on the thermostat to replace it. And we've solved our problem. Now, our last step is to go to the space and make sure cool air is being delivered. And we can see from this floor register that we do have cool air being delivered to the building. So that's all set and we fixed the problem. Good luck on all your future service calls and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. 
You can try our on-demand VR-enabled learning for HVAC by signing up for a free trial. Go to interplaylearning.com to get started.